So what is the most exposed nerve in the body? The ulnar nerve is the most exposed nerve in the body. Funny bone right there, right? So that funny bone can get caught in a bunch of places, in the neck, throughout the thoracic outlet, coming on down the arm, even on your bodybuilder, sometimes even in the, uh, in the upper arm. It's got to come all the way down through here and into the little finger and a little bit into this finger here. So what you want to do is we want to floss that nerve. We want to be able to glide that nerve back and forth and try to find out where it's sticking and get it to free up, make that nerve healthy and happy. This is a, what I love about nerve flossing techniques is that you don't have to know where it's stuck. You don't have to know where it's constricted to make it work. The setup for this, first of all, I'm just going to show you on myself the motion. Where the ulnar nerve, picture it coming down through there, through the funny bone area. It comes down and it comes up like that. That's what stretches it. That's what puts it on a stretch. Now let me show you and Joe Lynn here what we're going to do. First of all, I have to brace the shoulder, and so I'm going to come, lift the shoulder up and come under with my hand, get my body weight way low. Now I'm going to come in and control the hand. Particularly, I got to control these two fingers, right? I want to pull them back because what's happening here is I want to start by really putting, putting some tension, some pressure on that uh, ulna nerve. Now, JoLynn's going to side bend her head all the way over like that, and that pulls the spinal cord and all the nerve roots that way toward her head. And when she comes back, I'm going to come in like this and stretch that nerve, floss it back and forth, putting it up to the side of her face. But it can be very, very tender, so you have to be careful and not bulldoze the barrier when you're flossing this. Just keep in contact with them. They'll tell you when it hurts. Keep this shoulder depressed. Right up against the side of the head. Over a series of sessions, not the first session, but over a series of sessions, you're going to be able to bring this arm and hand all the way up to the side of her face. At that point, you're going to want to tension the nerve. In other words, you're going to want to pull from both ends in order to strengthen the nerve. You pull it, and then when you let go, it sucks in all of the fluids around it and the nerve gets healthier. So that's, here's how we do that. She's going to go ahead and side bend at the same time I'm bringing this up. And when she comes out, we're both out. Now we're both stretching. Can you see how that works? Can you see how she's pulling it her way? And I'm also tensioning that nerve too. Just be careful. Don't overdo them. About 15 to 20 times is all the reps you need for this particular technique. Okay?